Exit. 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 Talk about some links. Go exit. He already said he ain't taking no pictures only like for the magazine. I told you that. Oh, he said I could charge. I'm What's up, bro? He not. He, they gotta wait. <laughs> that nigga was in and out. They gotta wait. Wanna go there? You, either one. We can go down there. I mean, I got the grill right there, though. So I was just like, fuck it, we do it on the corner. How is it gonna be for me? You ain't talking? You're a hardcore football player, <laughs> Mark. This 45th and Nugent, man, Ice City. This, this the apartments, man. Really, it's so crazy. Here, we own the house right next door here. And it's like we all grew up at. This like this an infamous North Oakland little like little spot right here, man. We all used to just a lot of stuff growing up. This this where we used to come in stores, dice games, parties, house parties. First bike stove. Bike stove. You got your bike stove right here. Uh, everything was right here. A lot of a lot of cats, man, from the '40s. We this was our meeting grounds right here, man. This is just like the central unit for everybody to go bust they moves, whatever they was doing. We was kids. We go to the house party. We meet up right here. We all go out, play football, play basketball. It, it birthed a lot of stuff, but it also taught us a lot of stuff. We lost a lot of homies, a lot of, you know, oh, a lot of OGs on that block right there. The music, um, we just listen to open stuff. Three Times Crazy, Bad Influence, Bad Influence. Dangerous Bang with Scary uh, X. Scary X, Message to the Black Man. We just listen, we just Oakland out. When I start rapping, like, you know what I'm saying, we just, we start putting it on, because wasn't nobody rapping from our hood. You know, we had Father Don, but what's Father Don? But you know what I'm saying? Like we we came out, we kicked it off real. Like we just North Oakland, we North Oakland, North Oakland. So when they was telling me I couldn't come in the back room, he couldn't come back there because I, I was hella young. But I wanted to hang with them, see what they had going on. And he, him and AC in the house rapping and rapping, rapping rap battling. And AC started gigging and doing that shit. <laughs> AC is me in that thing dancing his ass off. So I mean. We'd be on the U block, uh, cross street from Granny House, and like this was like his hood name. Like this gonna go put his this shitty. Like you know what I'm saying, we the shitty shine. Like that's our family name for him, man. And till this day, like you know his number, his number still say to my phone is shitty. Like I don't, we don't, I don't call him. That's a little cuz. Like you know what I'm saying, that's shitty. So we, we do stuff here. We throw events for the kids. Like you know what I'm saying, we do turkey drives, backpack giveaways. Every you know year. every year. We've been doing that, like, you know what I'm saying? He'll do one, I'll do like, well, like, ours always be offspring, like a week, mine ago, then his will come. And, you know, he do the camps, all the stuff that they don't talk about. You know, all the positive stuff that you never see in the media. None of that, none of that. The lies that he's saying, the scholarships that he didn't gave out, the kids that he didn't influence. You know, they, they try to paint him, you know, the beast mode, but they try to paint him like a beast. Nobody talks about this, you know, the, what he's done for our community and what he's done for our city and our hood, man, you know what I'm saying? They, when it, once you paint it, it, it sell. That's what the people are interested in. You know, media week, they didn't care about the Super Bowl. Wasn't nothing, nothing popping. So they want to make it seem like, well, Marshawn's not talking again. Should we find him? Should we do this? Uh, he's wearing, the, he's wearing beast mode clothing. Tom Brady wear the same his own hat. They don't say nothing about it. Same logo made by the NFL. They don't say nothing about it. He wear the same hat. He wear his stuff. Oh, now it's a big deal. Now they think, should they find him? Should they do this? And you know. You know what it is. We ain't got to put it out there. You know, we don't got to put it out there. We, don't. <laughs> we know what it is. Usually the, that's what you do, though. But the world know what it is, though. Me, I, I normally, I'm, I'm, he tell me I be needing to chill out because I be really going too hard. But I be like, I'm just passionate, man. You know what I'm saying? I, to watch this dude take it from where being in the street foot racing with no shoes on. You know what I'm saying? from being in the middle of the street saying, I'm faster than you ain't faster than well, go, let's go outside. Race in your socks. Take them shoes. Take your shoes off. We gonna race in the middle of the street. <laughs> we racing in the middle of the street. So to take it from there, to be the most talked about player in the NFL, that's passion. And he represent for us. People respect me <clears throat> on a level of what I do for football, the platform that they see me on. But then when they actually get to meet me as a person, they like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know you was really rocking like that. Not so much of, oh, you just a ghetto ass nigga or something, but on the fact that like, you know what, you an intelligent brother and you know something. You know, a lot of us out here, we only see the, the 580 and the 880. And I mean, you know, that's, that's the world that we think we live in. 
And I mean, you know, we just get trapped in our minds and that just keep us here. And I mean, you know, like some of the few was able to, you know, expand that, open up our wings. Y'all talking about like, like the young man here and myself to be able to come back and tell these little dudes and little girls, like it's more than just that 885. That so don't get content here. Take what you learn here and take this outside the world. Cause I mean, at a point in time, I never knew I was gonna be able to had an opportunity to sit here and talk with y'all to share, you know, some of this knowledge that I learned. For y'all, if y'all really want to know us, you really want to know who he is, you really want to know that, y'all got to come here. So to all y'all media outlets, to all you ESPNs and CNNs yes, and anyone, right uh, all them, y'all want to know how y'all could get it? Come to our block. Come to, the, come to the Fan First football program. Come to the block parties. Come to the backpack giveaways. Just come out here. Because I'd be so mad that they just make him seem like he just, like I'd be reading comments like, me, he don't do it. Me, because they be pissing me off. I'd be like, oh, man. Oh, man. like, man, that nigga asshole, blood. That nigga like, what? I'm in my feelings, bro. <laughs> I'm in my feelings. I just be like, man, y'all don't know him. I'm not doing it personally because, and just like you're not doing it personally, because you don't know me, but I don't know you. Because, I mean, my family get mad at the fact that I won't take pictures with them. For real. And I told them the minute that I start taking pictures with y'all is the minute that y'all stop valuing me as your brother, <laughs> as your son, as your cousin. You know what I'm saying? That's the moment you stop devaluing me. So when you go out in the, and wherever you at in your workplace, where you go out and you pull out your phone and you like, oh, look, I got a picture with uh, Marshawn Lynch. And I just became Marshawn Lynch. I'm no longer your brother. You no longer I, shitty. I, you know what I'm saying? So my, my family at this point in time, they understand that. All right, is that me? Marshawn, I got some people want to take some pictures with you. Say it like you mean it. Beef mode. I flew here for me. He said he was about to cancel on y'all. I flew here for me. Right here, this uh, this this auntie house, man. This is uh, this is we wanted to bring y'all to where you know what I'm saying the, the central unit of. of People see the charity stuff where we talk about the stuff that none of the media ever talk about. Right here, two presidents, the co-founders and presidents right here. This is Josh Johnson. You see the back of him right now. He gonna turn around. But the Fan First Foundation, that's our motto, man. It's bigger than anything with us. It's been embedded since, uh, since Emerson. And I mean, as we got older and the more people, you know, you started to see around and started to know you know, who was family, and then it just took off and spread like wildfire. So, I mean, you know, even back through our college days, you'll see me at, 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 at in my early, early ages of college, you know, representing family first. And at the time, we didn't know what, we didn't know what we had. And now that we at this point, nine years in the game, we sitting on the gold mine. You know, we started off as a football camp, and I'm not the one to be, you know, praised and self-promoting and all that. So it was all just word of mouth where I go to people like, hey, I got a football camp at Tech, uh, second Saturday of July, won't you bring your kids to? And I mean, just all through word of mouth, before I even took a snap in the NFL, I did my first football camp. That's how I'm ahead in football. Uh, uh, in my football camp and my foundation than I am in uh, years of me playing football. So, uh, you know, the first year I got about 250 kids. Then the next year, you know, we started to understand how the foundation thing worked. Then we got legit and certified with our foundation. So then we start putting out flyers and pamphlets about what it is we, you know, we want to do around the community and how we see fit for things that we didn't have that we want to give back to the kids. And at the time, you know, early on, this was all just coming out of pocket. It just started to pick up and things started to fall into place. Then we started putting on dinners and, you know, building uh, uh, relationships with donors and, uh, you know, big money people that had interest in what we were doing. So when we started to see that, you know, people started catching the ear of what we are doing, and, you know, wanted to get involved. I mean, it's always good because, like I told the media day, like, 
you know, if you want to come to something that I got going on, if you want to, you know, you want to interview me for something, everybody know what's going to happen. There's only so many answers I could tell you about a football game rather than you coming in to an environment where you actually don't know what's going to go on. You know during a football game, you know I'm going to get a hand on. You know the quarterback going to throw a pass. You know at a point in time an interception can happen, a fumble can happen. I mean, what you don't know is that we not going to get the ball on the one yard line, don't Oh, man, get up out of here, <laughs> man. Get in the How you doing? Hey, hey. What's up, Fabby? Side of good side at you. Nah, man, fuck that. Y'all niggas got all y'all tired. You've been in the gym, I see you. Come on, man, I tuck that thing in. I'm lying. Tighter the clothes, tighter the clothes. Baller belly. It costs a lot of money to get a baller belly, man. I ain't got my bread right then. Yeah. I'm trying to go get my bread right now. Yo. Ready? Yeah, right. Athletes want to be entertainers. And, and entertainers want to be, be athletes. I don't want to be none of that shit. I just want to go spend money with all y'all. Okay, well, let me hold something. <laughs> I'm going to ask both of y'all. You just got to throw the money for you. All of this business. You just got to be new thing. All of this business. All of this business. All of this business. That was yesterday, man. Are you ready? That shit depreciated when she signed your name on that shit. Oh. My man, world is in this business. Yo, today, man, y'all get a chance to chill with us, man. It's Double XL, what up? And uh, athletes, rappers, all the whole stuff. My little cousin Marshawn, man, we're the ambassador. He Foldy, Mr. Fab. Thank y'all for seeing our life, our world, painting the city, painting the Bay Area, man. We appreciate y'all. Until next time, man, y'all show love. Yes, sir. Yeah. Politician Petey. Yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we like that, oh, you, know you know what I'm saying? Nigga, that's what <laughs> right. look, look how he looked up, he know that voice. That's what we used to do.